Well, Katie, as we've been saying, it's mm. a mess out there. That's exactly what I'd say. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, at least the heaviest rain that was inundating the roads on the Schuylkill, mm -hmm. the you know, the the turnpike that has now lifted out. So okay. there's some time, I think, for okay. those uh, flood waters to recede. Exactly. Time. Yeah. But I'm not sold that we're going to be out of the woods just yet. Okay. You know, we could still see some showers or storms pop up at some point throughout the rest of the day. So the worst, I'd say, is behind us, thankfully. But man, it's been a rough start to a work week. How about it? Let's start things off, actually, though, by taking you to a totally different scene. This is a live view for you here in Cape May. People are lining up the shore right now, enjoying what's not the brightest blue sky, but it is still dry. And uh, they're very likely going to see something bubble up across Cape May County before it's all said and done. But these folks have been out for a while and enjoying themselves. Now, by comparison, earlier today, this is actually a shot of a water spout when a heavier thunderstorm rumbled right up the coastline. This is taken by Alice Stockton Rossini out at Long Beach Island. Off in the distance, you can see that dropping into the water. But by comparison, you know, some of the other resort towns are still getting clobbered, like the Poconos. So this is up at Jack Frost Big Boulder, obviously the ski slopes, no snow to, to speak of, but I wanted to show this to you because it is pouring. You can tell that by the drops of rain dropping on the ledge there. So it really is soggy outside for most of us anyway. Now here's a look at that flash flood watch one more time to show you all the folks impacted. So it does not include Southern Delaware nor the Southeast Jersey counties here, but I don't think that you are immune to seeing a shower or a thunderstorm, but you didn't have to deal with that slug of rain that came through earlier today either. So here's the idea of what's going on with this as a pattern. You know, we have a front that's been draped uh, across our region, still trying to totally clear out. There's an area below pressure riding up along it. That is going to take its sweet old time to get out of here. That's why we've had the issue so far today and we'll continue to see them. And then even into tomorrow, this is still rotating through. So at the moment, the heaviest rain is now pretty far removed from Philadelphia. Moving up towards the uh, Pocono region, though, you're still getting hammered really hard with the heaviest of the rain, but we will take the break while we have it. So if you really wanted to run out and grab some lunch, now's the time to do it. But sure enough, we'll eventually start to see some of these kinds of pockets develop again, though we won't have that widespread coverage like we had earlier on. So this, I, I can't say I love how future weather initialized, but this is what we're facing. Those scattered pockets of heavy downpours are going to bubble up again and it looks like we could end up if this holds true with fresh rounds of really heavy rain along the Schuylkill along the Blue Route and certainly along the Turnpike as well. So just depending where your travels take you keep it tuned to what's happening out there and know your situation before you hit the road and never drive in the flood road flooded roadways. You know better than that. Make sure you're following your own good advice by 11 o'clock tonight though we should see the worst of that clear out then more comes in so we should get through the morning drive tomorrow without any major hitches fingers crossed it shouldn't be until the second half of the day that some scattered but locally drenching showers and storms reemerge so heavy rain and thunder is still a concern up towards an Allentown for example we're still finding that rain out there about a 50 50 shot up through the evening time frame again flash flooding is still a concern right through this evening and we are going to, in fact, repeat ourselves here. Turn around, don't drown is the protocol. It only takes a half a foot of water for your vehicle to be rendered useless and not much more to either float your car or send it down the roadway. Uh, so please be smart about that. And you also don't know what's underneath that flood water. Meantime, today's obviously not the best day to be mowing the lawn. So don't even bother. There's no point. You might not even get the lawnmower started with the kind of rain we've had. But hit and miss storms are still in the cards for us tomorrow, as we just showed you. If you really are desperate to get some mowing done, Although your backyard might be like mine and it's a total lake right now. Uh, just watch for hit and miss storms in the second half of the day, but you might be able to get it in early on. Wednesday would be a much better opportunity for you. That actually promises to be, get this, a dry day. So we will take the good luck while we have it. Now, granted, it's a brief break. We are going to see some pretty hot air in place by this point. 90 on Wednesday, 91 both Thursday and Friday. But at least Wednesday and Thursday are looking good right now. And we'll have the chance to, uh, you know, just dry things out because it's very soggy lately. Friday, though, that next front does come along, so more opportunities for rain and thunderstorms. Oh, boy, I'm not done with this yet. Can't catch a break, can we? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm.